Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. Today is a new day. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for a new day again. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify your Father. Thank you, Lord, for this time and opportunity to be able to read your word. Hallelujah. Father, praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. Thank you, Lord, for this lovely, beautiful morning once again. Hallelujah. We commit ourselves into your mighty hands, Father, our spirit, soul, and body. Take charge. Take over, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so, so much. Jesus, love us so much. Thank you, Father. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, indeed. Father, we have to nourish our body with your word. <laughs> For it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Thank you, Lord, that we will be reading again your word. And, Father, as we do, Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father. Thank you. We praise you, God. Hallelujah. Only by grace can we enter. Only by grace can we stand. Not by our human endeavor. But by the blood of the Lamb, into your presence you call us. You call us to come. Into your presence you draw us. And now by your grace we come. And now by your grace we come. Lord, if you mark our transgressions, who would stand? Thanks to your grace we are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Father, we are cleansed by the blood, the blood of the Lamb. Only by grace can we enter. Only by grace can we stand. Not with a human endeavor, but by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your precious blood. Only by grace. Unto your presence you call us, you call us to come. Into your presence you draw us, and now by your grace we come. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace, Father. Upon us, Lord, that we are forgiven. Thank you, Lord, that for the forgiveness of our sins. Father God, as I partake the bread and the cup, Father, I remember you. I do this, Lord, in remembrance of you, Father, until, Lord, I see you again. Hallelujah. I remember what you did on the cross for me, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this bread, Jesus, the bread of life. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of my sins, O oh God. By your stripes, I am healed. Father, you have said that they, hallelujah, I have said, Lord, that 
take the bread and eat in remembrance of me, Lord. Yes, in remembrance of your Father, I'm partaking the bread and the cup. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this cup of the new covenant. Lord, thank you for the forgiveness of my sins, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I bless you, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. Amen. I do this in remembrance of you, Father, until you come again and see you again. And also, Father God, for the forgiveness of my sins. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord, and we glorify your Father. Thank you, Lord, for today. We will be reading the Word of God in the book of going to read the book of Psalm chapter 6. Psalm chapter 6 Deliverance in trouble God is able to rescue us Yes, Amen Thank you Father, Hallelujah This is from David Author is David O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger Or discipline me in your wrath Be merciful to me, O oh Lord For I am faint O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in anguish. How long, O oh Lord, how long? Turn, O oh Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. No one remembers you when he is dead. Who praises you from the grave? I am worn out from groaning. All night long I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grew weak with sorrow. They fell because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and dismayed. They will turn back in sudden disgrace. Father, thank you. Yes, indeed, Father. You are the God who is able to rescue us, O oh God. Hallelujah. You even rescue us, Lord, dying on the cross. Lord, you already rescued us, Father. Thank you. And Lord, you can hear our prayers. Thank you, Father. That, Lord, you have heard our prayer and accept our prayer, Father. Thank you, Jesus, that you can even hear us right now in my room. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. I magnify you, Lord, and I glorify you, Father. Thank you, oh God. You are so good. You are so wonderful. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, thank you. For you, are, you have heard my weeping. And Lord, you have heard my cry for mercy. And Lord, you accept my prayer. Thank you, Father. I bless the Lord and I glorify you, O oh God. You are always there for me, O oh Father. You never leave me nor forsake me, O oh God. Hallelujah. I magnify you, O oh Father. Thank you. I can always see the cross at night and also the cross at daytime. There is another cross there, Lord. It reminds me of your love. Hallelujah. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, the mighty cross. 
that God himself would die for such as us. And every day we are changed into your image more and more. This by the cross we've truly been transformed. Hallelujah, Father, yes. Oh God, we've truly been transformed. Oh yes. We're so amazed and we give you praise for you would take us for such a cause. We're so amazed and we give you praise for the power of the cross. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Bless you again, Lord, today, today, Lord. We pray, O oh Father God, Jesus, that as the word of God is being preached today, Sunday, Father God, Lord, I pray for people to come to know you, Lord, and receive you as their personal Lord and Savior. And uh, Father God, they will completely be surrendered to you, Lord, because you are the God, you are the truth, hallelujah. And thank you, Father, because you are the Hallelujah, Father. You are the truth, Lord. You are the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for today. I will continue on to to read about what it says more of verse verse chapter 6 verses 1 to 3 verses 1 to 3 it says here that David accept God's punishment okay let's read first Psalm 6 verses 1 to 3 O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, or discipline me in your wrath. Be merciful to me, O oh Lord, for I am faint. Lord, heal me, for my bones are in agony. My soul is anguish. How long, O oh Lord, how long? This one here is David. Accepted God's punishment, but he begged God not to discipline him in anger. Jeremiah also asked God to correct him gently and not in anger. It's in Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 24. David recognized that if God treated him with justice alone and not in mercy, he would be wiped out of God's wrath. Often, we want God to show mercy to us and justice to everyone else. God in his kindness forgives us instead of giving us what we deserve. Mm -hmm. 6-6 I am worn out from groaning all night Long I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. Pouring out his heart with tears, David was completely honest with God. We can be honest with God even when we are filled with anger or despair because God knows us thoroughly and wants the best the very best for us anger may result in rush outward outward acts or turning inward in depression but because we trust in all in our all powerful god we don't have to be victims of circumstance or be weighed be weighed down by the guilt of sin. Be honest with God and He will help you. 
turn your attention from yourself to him and his mercy. Yes, indeed, so true. As we are honest to God, we pour out our heart towards God. He is. He knows, in a way, he knows all of us. He knows what's in our hearts. As children, we can just pour out to him whatever we feel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In my personal prayer time, I do this also. Ah, thank you, Lord. It's really so beautiful to just pour out to God whatever in our hearts. He's our daddy God, our Abba, Father. And so, we can just come to Him. As His children, we are so privileged that we have the access to just pour out for our heart with tears. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, thank you that we can just come to you, Lord, from with our whole heart, Lord, crying out to you, oh, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you, bless you, Lord. We glorify you, oh, Father. Thank you for your grace upon us, Lord. It's only by grace that we can enter because it is your grace that we are saved, Father. We are nothing and you came to save us, Father. Hallelujah. And we bless you, Lord. We glorify you, Father. We praise you, Lord. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise. Again, thank you, Lord, for today. Bless us all. We surrender ourselves into your mighty hands, our spirit, soul, and body. Take charge, take over, Father. Hallelujah. God, our loved ones, our family, relatives, and friends. Hallelujah. Our employers, our country, the Philippines, our host country, Singapore. Thank you, Lord, for this country. Bless Israel, O oh Father God, and all the nations, Lord. Let there be love and unity among your children also. Father, hallelujah. So, Lord, thank you for today. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for today. We bless you, Lord. Amen.